All right, looks like we have a full house today. So uh, let's jump right into it. We have some things before the Q&A session. Um, so I'm Jason, one of the co-founders here at Brilliant Directories, and we're doing webinar Wednesdays every week on Wednesday, uh, depending on what part of the world you're in. And uh, it's been really, really good um, answering questions. We're learning a lot from the questions asked, getting a lot of feedback on how to improve the platform. And I actually have some updates today. Pat and I have some updates today uh, based on previous webinars of requested features. And yeah, Pat is joining us today. He's the brand manager here at Brilliant Directories. Hi, everybody. Great to be here. I have to say I'm uh, particularly excited about uh, some of the things we have to share with you in the, this week's webinar. It's going to be a great one. Absolutely. Um, so just a brief synopsis of what the goal is here. Uh, we're here to answer your questions. The webinar is all about you and helping you with your website and helping you take your website idea to the next level with Brilliant Directories. Uh, Bill Miller, thank you for joining us today. I know you're in Hawaii. I just see that you logged in. Welcome. Been with us for a while now. And just to set a few ground rules about what type of questions you can ask, uh, we just want to make sure to be fair to everyone, so we're going to limit questions, one per person, until we've had an opportunity to go, th uh, go through everyone's questions at least one time. Contest winner of the week for last week was Brent Crawley in Australia. Brent, I hope you're joining us today. If not, uh, you can catch us uh, in a webinar replay. Brent has won a $960 value for the super bundle add-ons that we have at Brilliant Directories. Just email support at brilliantdirectories.com. And let me show you guys what the super bundle add-on is. We do have a promotion that we're running for about a month or so now where um, all the add-ons you can get to your website, you can get all these add-ons here, lead matching, claim listing, and the yearly price on that is $960 per year. And Brent, you'll get that free for one year. And if you did want to keep that the following year, it would just be $50 per month. So if you like the add-ons, you can keep them um, at a highly discounted rate. And if you don't want them, then you can also get rid of them at that point. But you have won them uh, free for a year. And congratulations. That's a great prize, almost a $1,000 value there. And we do have a new contest of the week. Again, the contest of the week, uh, just take a second for you to you know, enter the contest. And all you have to do this week is to go to our Twitter page, which is at Brilliant Direct, and I'll go there with you. And all you have to do is retweet our most latest, uh, most recent post. And it says, I started my, money, my own money-making membership website with Brilliant Directories. And all you have to do is click the retweet button and that will automatically enter you into next week's contest, which is going to be another super awesome prize. So if you have a moment after the webinar, just go ahead and retweet that message and you'll be entered into next week's or this week's contest. My favorite part of Webinar Wednesdays, uh, this is a chance for us to introduce new products that are coming out soon uh, and existing things that we have and give you guys an opportunity to snag them at super discounted prices. Um, if you've noticed this week with Brilliant Directories, we've been running some promo codes on the website and we've, we're testing it on Brilliant Directories first and we're expected to launch this uh, in March 2017. And the deal of the week is to pre-order the promo code add-on. Um, basically, what this is going to allow you to do on your directory website is to have a promo code that can be applied to membership levels on your checkout pages. Promo codes are awesome because you can list them on coupon websites, which is going to help advertise your directory. Um, you can give them to affiliates, and they you know, give them special promo codes and, and things like that. Uh, it's a great way to incentivize members to join your site and make them feel like they're getting an extra special deal. So if you're thinking about generating revenue or you are generating revenue, with your directory website, having the promo code add-on is going to be essential to not only converting more potential members of your website into paying customers, but also marketing your website and really aggregating those coupon codes around the internet um, in as many places as you can. Uh, all the coupon websites that you can think of, imagine you had a code there, you know, maybe it's 10 or 15% off 
um, and that's going to help get a lot of members signed up. Let me show you what that's going to look like in your admin area. So when the promo codes add-on is available, uh, under your finance tab, you'll have a section that says promo codes, and you'll be able to add new promo codes right here, and you can see how many times a promo code has been used, and you can set what the promo code is, and if it's a percentage discount or um, a flat rate discount. So maybe it's 10 bucks off, or maybe it's 10% off. So promo codes are a super way to advertise your site as well as get new members, and we're expected to launch this within this month of March. So what you can do is you can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash promo. The regular price for this is going to be 250 one time to add it to your site. It's listed for 50% off on the promos page right now for 125. But what you can do is you can enter VIP 25, and that's gonna take an additional 25% off the discounted price already. And all you have to do is put your credit card information and complete your order. And we will put you on the list for the pre-orders for the promo code add-on. So this is one that I think is great for generating more revenue and advertising your site overall. Okay, definitely want to take advantage of that. And I think at this point, Pat, do you have anything to add before we get into the Q&As here? Um, yeah, I, I would love to go over some of the new updates uh, that we have uh, free for everyone on the software that they could take advantage of uh, right now. We've uh, Some of these were in high demand. People have been asking for these for quite a while, starting with the ability to easily embed the get match form or the lead, gener the lead generating form on the home page. Maybe we can start and, and show that one and where they can find that? Absolutely. So as you know on your home page it's very common to have like a search form to start searching for members but more and more and more um, you know people have been asking to want to create sites similar to Angie's List or Thumbtack or Home Advisor and basically those sites generate leads and Brilliant Directories is great at generating leads but until now you have not been able to put the lead capture form on the home page so instead of and you can control you know what shows on the form or you know how big it is um, you can now go to your design settings and we'll go there together and we actually have two things to show you in the design settings that are available now if you go to your home page layout and the home page search settings under search type there's all the search options here. This is the search that you're going to choose on your home page. But you can come down here and you can choose show lead form. And then you can align that left, right, or center so it could correspond to the type of image, the background image you have. Maybe it's a smiley person or some text. But you can now have the lead form on your home page and really put a stronger focus on your website generating leads from website visitors to connect with the business professionals that are on your website. Did I cover that well, Pat? That was perfect. Um, a lot of people have been asking that. A lot of people, when I'm doing website audits, it's one of the things that they're asking for is, how can I embed that on my home page? So, so that, should, that should help people out a lot. All right. The next thing uh, comes down to the home page hero divider. And a lot of people are using the hero divider on their home page, and it works great. But there's one thing here that we want to show you. You can now put link buttons here. So this is a way to add at least three call to actions right on your home page. And let me show you where you can add that. You don't have to put the links. You can just leave them as text. But um, again, in your home page layout in the design settings, you have the home page uh, divider settings. And you can choose the icon, uh, the title, so a caption text. And then you can put the link name as well as a URL. So the link name might be like View Doctors, if maybe you're a doctor directory. And then the link name too, you can do Doctor Reviews. And that can go to the, a page where you have reviews of doctors. And then this one could say Get Matched with Doctors. And you can put the URL that corresponds to the link on your website. And then you'll see the buttons here. Now you don't have to have a button so if you don't put any link name text here and you just put a URL 
if you just put you know HTTP whatever it might be it's not going to show the button but it will make the icon and the text here clickable so you can choose to have it with the button or without the button and also this stuff looks great on mobile so when it's on mobile you'll be able to see the buttons and then and then more so you're good to go there and that was such a critical update exactly for the, the point you just uh, raised. When you're on a mobile phone, that home page divider is, is such a critical part of the, of the home page design because you see those immediately after going through the main image and main search. So having quick links to the different sections you want to drive people to on your website, whether it be deals, whether it be reviews, whether it be the sign up. I've seen people using it in different ways, but it's definitely helping increase the traffic to those particular areas of their website, especially on mobile phones. Absolutely. So again, three more ways to add calls to action right on your home page, and you don't have to do any coding. Uh, you can just put the information you need in the home page divider settings. Last thing we want to show you guys, and this has come up in previous webinars. I'm going to go to our demo site real quick, and then we'll get into the Q&A. Uh, so as you know, and we'll just uh, edit our main guy here, John Smith. Let's go to his member dashboard. Okay, great. So um, all the member dashboards with the Brilliant Directory sites look very similar. And as long as it's a searchable public listing, um, you know, there's a way you guys have seen this free QR code image, um, which the member can use in their marketing. It's, it's your way of giving your members something a little extra. And this obviously, if used in marketing, will link back to their profile on your website. Also, this member badge here, um, you know, they can put this link on their website. So maybe they're, you know, it says registered member of, you know, whatever your website is. Uh, and then they, they embed this code on their website with, and it'll show this badge and also link back to their profile page. But it's been very common that some people don't want this in their member dashboard. And up until now, you've had to customize this entire dashboard area and remove it based on membership levels. We've actually made it um, an option now, let me show you, and under your products, if you go to manage products, just like you can hide or show the phone number on a specific uh, membership members page, you can now do the same thing here, and uh, let me just load this right now. Let me show you where you can do that. Okay, we're back in business here. So you go to your manage products, and you can edit any, any of the membership levels, the products that you have here. And under the additional settings, there are now two options to show the QR code in dashboard as well as show the member badge in dashboard. So you can set these to yes or no, and it will automatically hide or show uh, this badge here in the member dashboard. So when you guys don't need it, you don't need to do any coding. It's just an option here in the membership level. So, yeah, those are just a few updates that we've done this week that we wanted to share with you. And I think now is the appropriate time to open it up to Q&A. All right. Um, Stephen, are you there, Stephen? I am here. Hey, Stephen. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Where are you calling in from? Uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. Okay, great. Do you have a site with Brilliant Directories? I have several, but the one site that I'm looking at is boardcertified.com. All right. Do you mind if we uh, swing on over there before you ask your question? Sure Go ahead. Boardcertified.com? Yes. Okay, and I'm assuming it's board, like, not on it's board. <laughs> yeah, right. B-O-A-R-D. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so what's your question for today? Okay, so I had an existing site previously with um, eDirectory, which didn't work out real well for me, so we switched over to BD, which I'm very happy with. Okay. Um, we have a tremendous amount of membership already, but in the BD site, I understand how to enter credit card transactions, but I can't enter the transaction. I can't seem to find the transaction entry screen for entering checks. So each week we receive checks in the mail as well. We want to update the profile on the BD directory. I can't figure out how to do that. Let me think about that one for a second. Um, what you can do, I think, um, would be this. And so what he's asking is, you know, Brilliant Directories keeps track of, have you connected your gateway here? 
I have. We've connected the gateway, but not for a system like Sage, etc. cetera. Gotcha. Uh, we've only connected the PayPal gateway. Okay. Um, so he receives checks. So these would be manual inputs. I think we do have a billing update that's coming. I don't want to say this month, but within the next 60 days that is going to allow you to add manual payments um, to the system. So let's just check out this member right here and go to his payment history. And what you can do, I think, is under new orders, there may be, we're going to be adding a field here where you can add notes. So I'm going to say that right now we don't have it, Stephen, to add a manual payment in. But I know what, what exactly what you're talking about, and it, I've seen it on some beta testing sites. Um, so I know that it will be released probably, I don't want to give an exact date, but let's say within 60 days in our next billing update. Um, so I think at that time it would be helpful. I think, and, and I hate to say it, but probably, how many checks do you get from your members? Are mo majority of them checks? Uh, yeah, well, right now we, we're getting about 100 a week. Okay. Um, so quite a few, um, and even the credit cards, before we figured this out, we, we run our credit cards manually through another system gotcha. until we can make sure that our accounting module here is effective. What you may want to do uh, just temporarily is start, start an Excel sheet and just note the person's ID and the amount in another column, and for right now, I would recommend keeping track of them in that way when the checks come in uh, and just correspond to their member ID on your site. And um, uh, until, gotcha. that, until that update is ready, that's probably a good way. And then if, it, if they're sending checks monthly, then you, know, you just put another entry in for their, for their user ID here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have a, I deal with Lewis, who's an excellent programmer that I got through your Absolutely, your, uh, yes, yes. Online system, and I can just have him do that very quickly. And that, that's great. I just wanted to verify that that, that was the situation because I, I spent a lot of hours looking through here trying to figure it out. But billing's, of course, very important to us with the magnitude of membership that we have. Absolutely. So, yeah, it is on our radar to add it soon. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, I think uh, just a good workaround is to make an entry in, in an Excel sheet. Great. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for the question and reaffirming that that is an important update to, to work on. We have, uh, we have a couple people that, that don't have a mic. They've been uh, emailing in as well their questions. I'd like to get to a few of those, Jason. Absolutely. We have uh, Chris that's asking, how can I change the categories to my coupon feature? Okay, that's a great question. How can I change the categories to my coupon feature? I think a good place to start is go to our, our coupons theme and show people exactly what he's talking about. So, you know, Brilliant Directories has lots of different publishing tools, coupons, events. Some people put them all on one website. Some people make dedicated websites, for example, like this one, just to show coupons. And with a lot of the different publishing tools that we have, uh, you can add categories to them. So here we can see that the categories for coupons are apparel, automotive, electronics, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so let's actually go into the um, admin panel of the demo site. Give me one moment. A board certified site looked great, by the way. Okay, so we're in the admin now, and the question is, how can I control the categories for my coupons? And that's a great question. The way to change categories for any of the publishing tools, the different types of posts, uh, the post content that you can have, you want to head on over to your toolbox. And I actually get this question quite often. Head on over to the form manager. And once you're in the form manager, we have an update we can run here. Something I love about Brilliant Directories, if there's an update, it won't affect your entire site. You just up click it right there uh, when it's needed to be updated. So there was an update on our demo site that needed to be updated. So I'm going to look for the form that's related to coupons. And this is the form people fill out when creating a coupon. So uh, you'll see things here. It says enter details below. Um, the published status is yes or no. The title of the coupon and then the category. And you'll notice the category for all the publishing tools, whether it be classifieds or products, um, the field type is a select drop-down, and to create your options, 
Um, you can just put your options in this um, pop-up here and just separate them with commas. So this is what we saw on the home page drop-down, which is apparel, automotive, electronics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's actually change one of these and put one category called Patrick. That's a great category. And I'll save the changes. Let's go to the front of the website and let's actually log in as one of the sample members. Yeah, because Jason, there's two things I'd like to, to show here as well. There's one more, uh, while you're showing that, we can also show them uh, how you just add a comma if you want it to be blank uh, rather than have the, the category auto-selected as being apparel's first one. That's actually a good strategy too. So let's all go to the, the coupon feature and let's add a new coupon. And if we go to the categories, we'll now see Patrick down here at the bottom. And the first one is apparel. It's automatically selected for you. Uh, but Patrick said, well, how can we make that one empty? So all we would have to do is just add a comma at the beginning, and the first one uh, will be empty. And then if you wanted them to actually select a value, make it required. And that will force them to have to choose something from the drop-down. Uh, it wouldn't let you just not have an empty value there. And let's also go to the home page and notice that automatically Patrick should be added here at the bottom, there he is right there, as one of the categories that you can search. So you just need to do it in one place based on the, uh, the publishing tool you're working on, the type of post, in this case coupon. And uh, you can add a blank one in the front, and you can add, uh, you can put them in any order that you want in the drop-down. Preferred is usually in alphabetical order. And the nice thing about the post category variable, all of the different features with the categories, when you add it to the form, as Jason showed, it's going to automatically display for your members when they're creating that type of content. It's also automatically going to display in all the different search modules for that specific content type. So there's no coding needed outside of just going to the form manager and adding the categories you want there. That's right. And that's right, super simple. And just a note about coupons and other features, what I really like is, and this is really good if you're publishing you know, third-party content, um, you can always add an external link uh, for your posts. So you might be publishing the information on your website, and you or your members, whoever's publishing it, can always add um, an external link. In this case, this is obviously a sample for American Eagle. And if we click more details, it's taking you to the American Eagle website but this could go to the page where you would actually purchase this product or where you can apply this promo code. Uh, again, this is just a sample, but we get the idea here. That's a great question, and actually that comes up very often. All right, well, um, we have Samantha asking us, somebody wants to advertise on my website, how can I accept the payment? Somebody wants to advert a banner advertisement? She doesn't have a mic. I'm assuming that's what she's referring to. Perhaps somebody, want, maybe she sold a banner to okay. somebody and she wants to be able to collect the payment through the platform. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay, I have a good way to explain that. So um, let's take a Bold Business Daily, for example. Um, the question is how, let's say someone wants to place a banner ad on your website. So we see this banner ad up here, these sidebar banner ads. Um, these are different than if a member wants to join your site to pay. Um, so what I want to explain is we recently moved membership levels, which was under members, into the finance tab and we called it manage products because this is a little bit more appropriate. And if you have someone that wants to advertise and they want to pay you, uh, first of all, I always recommend moderating banner ads. Don't just let people have access to post banner ads, I've seen inappropriate things being posted and then it shows that your website is supporting those things because they're, they're you know, banner ads on your site. So all you want to do is collect the payment and then you can get, you can approve the image and where the image is going to link to on your website. You don't want people to have, other strangers to have the power over this. So what you can do very simply is you can create a new product and we'll call this um, 30 day um, sidebar banner and there's a couple things that um, this person wants to do. What was her name? Samantha you said, Pat? 
So you can set the pricing. Maybe it's a one-time price of $250 for a banner ad. And we don't want this person to be searchable on the website like your regular business members. So what you're going to want to do is set the listing searchable on website to no. This allows you to create lots of different products um, without them actually joining your site as a professional business member. Um, there are some other options that you can turn off, such as the type of information you want them to enter. Um, but basically, as long as you set the price, it could be monthly or one time. Um, and also the search visibility set to no. You've pretty much done all you need to create a new product that somebody could pay for. There's a couple other things I like to do in that scenario because it does come up quite a bit. Uh, if you can go back to those membership settings, uh, one of them is to create, customize the email template that goes out to your advertisers. So they receive an email that says, thank you for purchasing the advertisement banner. So it would be good for you to take a few moments so that they don't get an email as though they signed up as a member because these are advertisers for your website. Absolutely. The other thing I would do, pardon? Absolutely. Can I just show them real quick where they would create a new email? Because you brought up Absolutely. a really good point. So, yeah, Pat brings up a great point. Uh, change the sign-up email they get after payment. And where you could do that is under emails and email templates. You can easily uh, create a new email template yourself under email templates. And we'll call this um, Welcome Advertiser. And what you can do is write an email that lets them know um, their order has been received. Uh, received. Um, and then you can say what's going to happen. Like, thank you for your order. Some, someone from our team will reach out to you soon. Um, if you have any questions in the meantime, uh, you can reply to this email. So now you're engaging with the potential advertiser. Um, they know that, you know, what the next steps are going to be. Uh, maybe you can write something a little longer than just a sentence. Uh, but now you've created a good communication with the potential advertiser. You could even have the template say, please send over the copy for the banner, the link that you want it to go to, and any images you'd like to have included. Right, the instructions for the next steps. Thank you for your payment. The next steps are email us um, the potential image that you want to use and the link exactly, Pat. Very, very mm -hmm. good. And the other thing I was going to say that's a possibility if you don't want them to go to the member dashboard is you can redirect them to a thank you page that you created for your advertisers. Exactly. So you can create a page called something like thank you, you know, ads or whatever you want to call it. And this way after their payment, they're going to be redirected to this page, thank you ads. So all you need to do is create the page. It has to exist. So you would do that under content and you can create a new web page. And you can call it whatever you want, thank you ads, and then you can say thank you. And you can put the instructions there too on what the next steps are. So you can send them the instructions in an email, and the next steps are. Um, and then you would have this page, and once this page exists, absolutely you can um, add it as the redirect page after they sign up. This is also the sort of stuff, Jason, what we've just covered here, if it seems a little daunting for, for some, some of the people on this webinar, this is exactly the sort of stuff that you could do on a website edits training call. All of this could easily be set up in a 30-minute call if you have the copy ready for the page and the copy ready for the email. So if you ever do want assistance in setting all of this up, that's what we're here for. That's right. So actually, Pat brings up a good point. Um, you know, these things are, are relatively simple. You just kind of need to know what to do, um, you know, setting up an email, making a page. Um, there is a website audit review, and these have been highly successful. So if you think you've set up your website maybe 90% and you just maybe want a little strategic help getting you to that 10%, uh, a website audit review might be helpful. And we've mentioned these in previous webinars. Uh, we spend about an hour on the phone with you, and we can just make sure all the, all the nooks and crannies of your website are set up properly, and it's basically setting you up for success with your site. So, yep, that's, uh, you can go under add-ons, and those are one-time services. Um, Jason, we had, uh, two, we had two people ask pretty much the same questions, if you don't mind passing the controls over to me. We have Bruce and Cindy, thank you for sending in your questions. Basically, both asking, Cindy's asking, 
how do I get a all how do I export all of my members that are currently on my website and the CSV file and Bruce is asking is there a way that I can get a list of all of the emails of my members so I can send out an email campaign so we're gonna go ahead and, and show them how to do this but at the same time I would like to take a moment and show this new update that's probably getting rolled out next week that's going to make this very easy for everyone. I know Jason presented this, I think it was two weeks ago, but as you can see, I have a little bit of a different layout than everybody else. Um, Jason does as well, that's because the staff is beta testing this and we've run into no issues, which is why I'm saying we're about to release it. But the purpose of this modified search area is that we're going to make it easy for you to export all of your members. So Cindy, you want to export all of your members with this new update. All you would need to do is click export here and it would export all of the members in your database as they are right now. Uh, Bruce, you would also be able to just use this button and export all your members and you'll have the emails. Or perhaps when you're doing email marketing, the reason this is so powerful, and, and that's my background, that's why I love this update, is you can have an email campaign for all of your members that are in Canada, for example. And then this is going to search your database and it's going to show you all of the different members that are in that specific country. So if I want to do an email campaign just for Canada schools in this one instance, then I would go ahead and I would export those search results. It's going to go into the database and it's going to feed it to me in a CSV uh, file using the, the same variable names that we were seeing a little bit earlier on this call. So then when I open up this file, I'm going to have a clean parsed file that's only going to have Canada schools appearing in my CSV file. So that's going to make it very easy for you starting next week. But in the meantime, if it's urgent that you need to do this, what you're able to do is you're able to go into your developers tab and select the MySQL database. And my recommendation is to wait till, till next week when we release this, but again, if, if it's urgent, then you just go to your directory database table and we're going to go to the user's data. And a lot of people want to know where is my member's information saved. It's saved here in your user's data. So you can go ahead and click on browse and once you're there, you have all of your members, you can export it from here if you like. And then you can choose the file format that you want which can be a CSV format and one of the columns is going to be the email address so you can have your email list or in Cindy's case you can have a backup of all of your member data uh, on, on hand. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's another good question. So the previous question with Ken is, um, at the end of the day, you do have access to your, your front-end source code. And then also, if you're a higher-level level developer, um, you do have access to the MySQL database. So you can kind of uh, better um, identify your data, and you could make your own custom search queries if you wanted to on the front end of your website. So super helpful uh, and really accessible, all from the admin dashboard of Brilliant Directories. All right, Pat, I'm just going to take over again here. Thank you for sharing that, by the way. That was great. Uh, Martin, Martin, I've unmuted your microphone. Yeah, so I have a question. Uh, say, for example, you uh, set up a new directory from scratch. How do you populate the uh, directory with members? Do you, do you have some type of spider that goes over the Internet, or you have some source, or, or how do you get... How, What's the proper way to do that? So the best way to populate your member with like 10,000 members is first let's hope it's your birthday. Close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candles and just hope that members are in your directory. I kid, I kid, I kid. So the question always is what came first, the chicken or the egg? And you know, do you start marketing your site even though there are no members in the directory or do you try to get members behind the scenes and then start marketing your website? And a good answer to that is you should do a little bit of both in the beginning. And you can you can tell your members that you can tell potential members wherever you advertise to them on Facebook or LinkedIn or uh, email marketing or, or maybe you're doing uh, something else to at least get the attention of potential members and let them know that you're new and that you're doing something amazing for that industry and make them an offer they can't refuse to join your directory website. Um, and offer a free option, Martin. Make, make, make the barrier to entry as low as possible 
to get people to join your website don't have complicated membership levels maybe have two or three you know a free option and a paid option always remember that your free members who join first are eventually going to turn into the evangelists of your site and probably give you the best feedback on how to how to market your site they're going to tell you what they want what they like and what they don't like and even if they're giving you negative feedback take that as constructive criticism um, and I also recommend, actually, now that we mentioned that, um, I, I did do a webinar with uh, David Rocklin. Um, let me show you where you can watch previous webinars that actually address this exact topic. Um, if you go to the Brilliant Directory's website and go to the support um, tab here, uh, we've actually updated our support resources area. And first of all, all the webinars that you're watching can be uh, replayed here under free group workshops is what we're calling it. And we have all the previous webinar Wednesdays. We have two more to add from previous weeks, but we're adding them all here under free group workshops. And I do have one here. If you watch a few of these webinars here, not the webinar Wednesdays, these were on specific topics that we presented on. Um, check out the seven strategies for money-making membership sites and also the eight easy ways to increase website traffic and revenue these two webinars specifically address how to start getting members to join your site uh, so I would recommend watching all the webinars but specifically those two um, which talk more about how to get members to start joining your site thank you for the question that's that's a good question there well, thanks all right, that's Martin. Um, this is from Angel. She's asking, um, how do I get my featured members to appear on the homepage? How do I get featured members to appear on the homepage? This is different than just showing recent members on the homepage, right? Correct. So I, I would imagine, yeah, these are probably people that are paying more or, or something like that. She probably wants to have them show on the homepage in a special section, I would Perfect. Um, so let's do this. Let's use our demo site, Demo Bootstrap, as the example here. And let's just head on over to the home page. Uh, so a really awesome tool with Brilliant Directories is you can actually, instead of just showing your newest members in, in the order they've signed up, we do have a streaming widget where you can hand select members to show up uh, in a featured member section. So let me just show you step by step how you can do that. First of all, what you want to do is head on over to your settings and your design settings. And you want to actually select one of the home page, uh, the section orders to be the featured members. So you can see right now we have uh, the hero divider. And then right now it's showing recent members. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the hero divider. You don't need to have it always. And we do have an option here to show featured members right here. But the thing with this is you actually need to select the members that are going to show here. So we're going to choose section one to be the, the featured members. And another fun thing is you do have streaming widget options down here where you can kind of control a few different things. And we're going to add the title we want for the featured members right now for the the newest members, the recent members, it's just newest members. Let's do checkout featured lawyers. They're obviously not lawyers. Um, um, we'll just say check out featured lawyers now. And then obviously you can choose how many um, you know, results you want to show. Let's just do four. And I'll save the changes. And now that we've established we want to show featured members on the site, we need to hand select who those members are and we'll do that right now just let me refresh the home page and we'll see that there's nothing here because we haven't selected any members and the hero divider is gone so let's go and select a few members to feature on the home page what you want to do is go to members and search members and let's just choose a couple of the people we have here actually let's choose some different people that aren't there so let's say we wanted to choose this person what you want to do is click on the actions and then quick edit and then what you can do is you see this uh, option here featured listing order 
So you need to put a number that at least starts with one, and he, this will be the first person in the featured member. So if you have three members, you could choose who's gonna be one, two, or three. Let's put this one as three and save the changes. Now because they're the only one, they should just be the only person there. And they are right here. And here's our title that we custom wrote. Check out featured lawyers now. And now let's add someone to be the number one spot. So let's close this tab. And let's choose uh, the sample member, Samantha Scott. We're gonna do the same thing, quick edit. And because you have control over these, who's featured, you know, you can charge these people, maybe you made an arrangement with them to feature them on the homepage in exchange for services or, you know, who knows what. But now you can see we're adding more and more people on the featured section, which is different than just showing your most recent members. And let's stick, stick this guy, Henry Barnes, right in between those two. We're going to put featured listing order two, and he's going to be number two position, so she's number one. And oh, let me refresh one more time. All right, let's give that another shot. All right, there he is in the number two position. And again, you can choose if you want, you know, one person or, or 20 people. Obviously, you don't want to have too many, but um, you can now feature specific members on your site. Just remember step one is selecting that you want to feature members, uh, the featured members module to show in your design settings. That was a great question. Uh, what, what I've seen a lot of people do as well is invest in a little bit, just a, a little insider tip, is in, invest in a little bit of customization. You know, couple, it's probably about a couple hundred dollars to get something like this done. And what you can do is you can have it show featured members in the location that somebody is browsing their, their website. So if you have a national directory or a UK directory or a US directory, you can have the members, it could say check out members near you or featured members near you and then if you're in, if you're browsing in San Francisco I would be seeing uh, all of the lawyers in San Francisco if you have a national directory that's a lot easier to sell it's difficult to sell a featured listing on the home page if it's national because they have difficulty understanding what the chances are that somebody's going to contact them unless it's a national company like uh, like McDonald's or something that's nationwide but if you are or promoting professionals, investing a little bit in that customization, then you're able to go to the lawyers in New York and say, people who are looking for lawyers in New York, you'll appear on our homepage. So it's a great way to get more customers. So th that's something people, is that an add-on, Pat, or what do you mean by customization exactly? Yeah, I just so want, I always want you, you to explain do, yeah. a little better for everyone. No, absolutely. That's something that people can email in. We do that quite a bit. So that's something that our internal team can help people with. Uh, and that's one, because I know we send people to the marketplace um, quite a bit, but that's one job that our internal team can take care of. So you just email to, you can just go to the marketplace and, and, and submit that request to us directly. Or you can email support and say, I'd like to get an internal quote on getting that set up on my website. I heard it in the webinar, and our team will happily get that set up on your site. So it's uh, geo-based, based on the browser's physical location. As long as they allow the browser to, uh, to locate them, to geocode them, then at that point, they would be able to see only lawyers in their locality, which really increases the, the value of your site. Awesome. Yeah, that's a nice touch for the featured members and adds a little personalization for the person who's visiting the website. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up there. This was a great webinar. It was great being with everyone here. Great questions all around. I think we got all sorts of varieties of different questions uh, this week, which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we'll see you in, in the next webinar. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. It was an awesome webinar indeed, and I can't wait to see everybody next week. Thanks so much, Jason. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Pat. Take care, guys.